So I just got down here and there's not much of a beach. Tide's still way in. The wind is blowing in and it's just cold. I've got extra jackets and stuff on. I don't know, we're gonna swing around a little bit anyway, see if we can find something out here. I'm gonna swing the mana core today. Just because I'm more familiar with it and we're already off to a rough start. I even managed to rip my pants on my way here, so I've got a draft in the back. Let me see if we can get something. Got what looks like, I guess it's a big piece of cement, I don't know. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing tennis shoes today. Yeah, I don't think that's a full garage. I think that's just a piece of cement. Had to check it out though. See now that's a piece of iron. Flashing red. It's in the shaded area on the map. 56. All right, let me keep swinging around. No signals other than that one. Something here. 29, 34, bouncing around a little. I've seen a little flash of red, but not too bad. And it's about six inches down. Digging in the wrong spot, getting distracted. Well, they don't just disappear. It's gotta be still in the hole, I guess. Must have moved it or something. No. Gotta be in this somewhere. Somewhere right in there. Try to keep it away from the, the water in case a wave comes in. I'm not seeing it. Little tiny something right there. that is. I think it's copper. We'll put it in the jar and we'll take a look at it in the wrap up. Alright, there was our signal. Let's fill this in and keep on going. On my old Equinox, that'd be a great signal. On this one, I don't know. It's on the, it's kind of on the line there. We'll put a scoop or two on it and see. Could be something. This is usually the dry sand area up here. So there's a lot of foil and stuff like that. But you never know.
Right there. Stainless steel bolt. We'll bag it. There, okay. All right, let's fill us in and keep on going. Sixty one, sixty two, six inches down or so, and it's right on the non ferrous. Oh, this wind is brutal out here. I got my back to it now, walking the other way, my eyes were watering from all of the wind. Well, it's either right here on the edge, or I'm just missing it. We got it on that one. Here comes the water. I see something. Right there. Shield penny. We'll take it. It's a coin anyway. That was it. Let's fill this in and keep swinging around. Twenty-two, twenty-five. See, now that's deeper. That's ten or twelve inches down. We'll try it. Okay, it's in here. I don't know that it was quite that deep. Whatever it is, is right there somewhere. not either it's a beaver tail I've been finding a lot of them lately we'll bag it let's keep going got something 17 16 17 Clump right there. I don't see a big fat piece of gold. I hear something scraping around. Something right there. I don't know what that is. It's got some iron stuck to the back. I can't tell if that's a piece of jewelry. I don't even know if I can wash it off here. Let's dig a hole to get some water in. Hopefully it'll fill in and I can give it a quick little wash. That's a piece of iron right there next to it. I don't know what this is. No, I dropped it. 
That's no good. Well, it's something, I think. I don't really know. Kind of weird. Now I got two holes to fill in. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think it's jewelry. That looks like a cat. I don't know what's with the rusty clump. Interesting. All right, well, let me get this in my jar and I'll fill in these two holes. And we'll clean this up and we'll take a look at it in the wrap up to see what it is. Let's keep going. Fifty five to sixty. Right in there. We got it out. in the scoop. I might can shake this. And it looks like a coin. Copper coin or you know might be zinc. It's a penny as far as I can tell. We'll take it. Alright let's keep swinging. There's a spot here where the the waves have washed it out a little bit out of this bank. So you never know. That's where I find it some old stuff. Gary is over there. He's one of our viewers. Alright, let me keep swinging around. Actually, let's check that on beach surf. That might be a bottle cap. On beach surf, it makes a pretty ugly, ugly signal on a bottle cap. Could be more than one target here. I'm hitting something right there. Malt, oh yeah, whatever that is, is a big chunk of cement or something down here. Let me see if I can get it from the other side and maybe flip it over. Signal's still there. Something in here. I hear stuff. Looks like rocks. That would probably be our signal right there. Feels like a piece of lead. That piece of what I believe is lead. Odd. We'll take it. Now there's another signal right next to this. We had two here. Twenty-three, twenty-four. I'm seeing a hint of iron, but that could be something else. Oh, this is all going to fall apart because I didn't fill my other hole first. No. 
stuck in the side there. I felt something in that one. We got it. Super deep can slaw. And some other big chunky. S I think this is just cement. Yeah. That's just a chunk of cement. There's our signal. Throw it in the bag. All right, let me fill this pit in and we'll keep going. Seventy seven, seventy eight, right here by this cement. I had to put the flaps down on my hat to keep my ears warm. It's cold out here. Right there, someplace. Sounds like it might be a dime. Got it. Some sticks. Well, that would be our signal. I don't know what that is. It's metal. says something on it. I don't know. We'll clean that up and take a look at it in the wrap up. And there was a really high tone just above me and it's a it's a great big piece of aluminum or something metal sticking out. Let's keep going. Forty-eight to fifty. Put it right in the middle there. Washer. We'll take it. All right, let's keep swinging around. Thirty nine forty. out. That one. Another ring pull. We'll take it, get it off the beach anyway.
All right, let's keep going. Something right in there. Kind of a low tone. We got it. There's a lot of, that's a, that's a can sitting there. There's a lot of trash in here. Well, that looks like iron. That's what I was listening to, the, the ring pull. There's a bunch of cement. There's another ring pull. All right, let's keep going. Something right there, I don't know if it's that thing I'm seeing on the surface. It is. It just looks like a piece of a rock. No, so that must be it. Hot rock, I guess. I don't know. We'll clean it up and see if there's anything in it. You never know. Let's keep going. 27 to 29. 28. I don't know. There's something there. It's in the scoop. I hear something. I'm gonna say a nickel. I was hoping for the gold ring on that number, but it's a nickel. I'll take a nickel. Let's keep on going. Seventy-seven to eighty-one. Six inches down. Should be in that. Oh, when I turn this way, the wind's blowing in my face, but the draft on the back's not blowing in. That, I think it's just, there's something. Yeah, though, there's a piece of cement. That is a coin. I'm gonna guess and say a clad dime. Don't know. We'll check it in the wrap up. We'll clean it up a little, see what it is. Alright, let's keep going. I see they got ambulance and stuff down the beach there. Um, 
tide's still going out, so we've got at least a little area to work down here. It's just cold and miserable and windy. I'm going to keep going. Hopefully we'll find something good. Whatever it is, it's giving me a... It looks long on the map. I don't know. Still there. Nope, I just felt something. I got another signal right next to me here too. Get my shoes wet. I got it. It's a T, I think. That's what it is. That's probably an old hotel key or something from out here years ago. We will bag it. I'll shoot that other signal on, a, on another clip just in case it's junk. It won't ruin this one. Let's keep going. All right, we just dug a key over there. And right here. Thirty-five, forty. Hopefully we get it before another wave comes up here. I see something right there. A spoon. That's what it is. Well, I'd say it was silver plated at one time, copper. Huh. You never know what you'll find out here. In the bag it goes. Check it, make sure that was it. All right, let me uh, fill this in and we'll keep going. All right, in the last clip my battery died on me. I had to get my spare out and uh, get that all switched around. It's pretty cold out here. Uh, that might be what affected my battery, I don't know. 26, 27, four inches down. Could be a gold ring, could be a nickel. See anything? That's a piece of iron over there. What is this? This is our signal. This is what we were hearing. don't know. I'd say it's copper. It feels fairly he heavy for its size. I dropped it with a wind blew it, one of the two. In the jar. Well, I don't know. We're going to keep going for a little while, but 
We're not finding spectacular stuff, but we're getting a few odds and ends. I don't know. We'll see what we got. I think we got one, one piece of jewelry of some sort. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Let's keep going. Twenty-three, twenty-four, bouncing around. I hope the wind's not too bad. I got a fairly new windsock I made last week or so. I see something on the edge of my scoop right there. It looked like a piece of wire. right there little piece of copper wire let me fill this in and we'll keep going right there 79 80 Right there, I see something around. It's a coin. I'd say it's a green dime. We'll check the dates on all this stuff when we get to the wrap up. Alright. Let's keep going. I'd let you look at some of the wind-blown surf. It's cold down here. My, my hands are getting cold. The sun's going down. I do have my light. But you can tell there's nobody out here but me. And these frozen birds. Anyways, I'm going to keep swinging for a little while anyway. Solid 24. Yeah, it's like right there somewhere. I think the wind is increasing, but I don't know. It's definitely getting colder out. We got it out. Fat gold ring. I see something. I'm gonna have to get my light out here in a minute. Beaver tail. Another beaver tail. Alright, let me get that in my bag, get my light fired up, and we'll keep going a little bit. Got something here. All low numbers. Nine out of the hole. 
Oh, I see it. Stainless steel nut. All right, we'll take it. I gained the light and lost my ear flaps because I had to turn my hat around. All right, let's keep going. All right, well, I made it back to my ramp. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't know if we found enough for a video, but it's just so cold and windy and stuff out here. It's just not any fun to be out here. So I'm gonna leave it there and uh, I'll see you all at the wrap up. All right, let's see if we can do a quick wrap up. Uh, I don't know. I dug a lot. I dug a lot of stuff. It wasn't a lot of good stuff, but we got some interesting things here. Uh, two regular modern dream squasher type pull tabs, a bunch of uh, beaver tail ring pulls, some typical can slaw and aluminum. That's that little rusty piece of junk. We found that with something else that was in the hole with our other target. Uh, stainless steel nut and bolt and washer. This I thought was a rock. It looked like a little piece of granite, but actually it's not. It's uh, some really corroded aluminum, I guess. So yeah, there's that. And the old hotel key, I guess. Some kind of old key, brass key. And a spoon. They had a great big silver-plated copper spoon. I'm sure that's been out there for quite some time. Uh, we'll do that stuff last. We had very few coins. We had two zinc pennies, um, one nickel, two dimes, and they're all clad. I don't. I couldn't get a date off the nickel, but I don't think it's anything special. And same with the dimes. It's uh, haven't had time to clean them up enough. But there's they're just clad. They're nothing special. On the unusual stuff, the one little target is just a little twisted piece of copper wire and this other little tiny piece it's not magnetic but I don't know what it is it's just a little piece of non-ferrous junk the little metal cap I tried to scrub it up to clean it and it took the writing off of there it does say London over here so I don't know whether it was you know from a battery compartment off of a toy or just exactly what it is. Maybe somebody knows. Um, let me see. I think it was this way. It's got a little, like a thumb spot there, I guess, for trying to pop it open. But no idea what that is. And this other little piece, I guess it's a piece of some old bling jewelry. It looks like uh, it's got some gold plate on it there, but it's, it's just junk. And the the more interesting finds, I guess we'll do this one first. It was a, it's a piece of lead. It's very heavy. And I was just noticed here laying it out. It's got an image on it. It looks like uh, Virgin Mary and Baby Jesus on there. But it's made out of... Camera went out. Uh, it looks like it's... There you go. I don't know. I'll see if I can get some pictures of this, maybe get a better look at it. But that's kind of a surprise. I didn't know we had that. I thought it was just a flat piece of lead. And then the crazy find. It's a cat. He's got three legs in the front, two in the back and a tail. So I don't know. I thought it was silver, but I don't think it is. I think it's just silver plated. And I guess it had a ring. That must be what's rusted. And there must have been some other part of it here. I'll get some pictures up. The 
but yeah, he's got like uh, three legs on the front and two in the back, plus the tail, so a five-legged cat, I don't know. Anyways, that's it. Uh, I think we were more beach janitor this week than treasure hunter, but we did find a few things. And like I say, my car is in the shop. I don't know how long it's going to be because it's the whole motor's got to get torn down, so... Um, it's going to be touch and go here on when I can get a set of wheels to get over to the beach. And Right now there's not much going on over there anyway. The water's so cold and uh, there's nobody out there swimming or losing anything worthwhile. So we have been getting some big surf, so that does mix it up out there a little bit. But uh, oh, I don't know. We're just going to have to keep, keep trying. Uh, hopefully we don't miss any weeks, but uh, if it gets really bad as far as fines and no wheels we may have to just do like a little winter recess or whatever I don't think we'll be missing too much anyways I'm gonna leave it right there I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff and you won't miss the next one and I'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching